Hey everyone, Mike Sherry back at Paul Sherry Used Cars. We just took it on trade, a 2003 Ford Crown Victoria. This is the LX, which I believe is a top trim for this car in this year. So it's got some nice options on it. Now it's also got some aftermarket stuff on it that I'll point out to you as well. And truthfully, when we first took this car in, I was like, man, I don't know if I like that car. But actually after driving, I just took it for a pretty extensive drive. I'm really impressed. Now it kind of looks like an armadillo on the outside with the silver color and the black accenting. Uh, but yeah, get through that or maybe you like that. Hey, it is what it is. So let's take a look. We'll start reviewing here. Got a little tent on the front windshield here. Uh, it kind of keeps the sun from getting so bright in there, which is nice. The front windshield looks good. Has this aftermarket hood vent right here. Uh, and then these aftermarket, you know, I don't know what you call those. Eh? bullets spikes i'm not sure uh you have front grill insert here uh, someone's uh, definitely replaced the headlights nice clear headlights there all the way around now the this crown victoria is powered by the 4.6 liter v8 engine this is a rear wheel drive automobile right now, i don't want to convict myself but i i will tell you i'm pretty confident this car will spin its tires if you if you hit the gas hard enough maybe hold the brake a little bit uh does have 2019 is the date on the tires uh 17 inch wheels or the xd wheels this is a popular aftermarket wheel brand seem to build quality wheels i see them a lot of lifted trucks and things like that that i review uh, decent amount of tread left on the tires too now this car and by no means is a perfect car it's got its bumps and scrapes along the way but any major Body damage, I, I did not notice. I, there's plenty of little scrapes and a uh, spot where the, the paint's chipping off, and I'll kind of point them out as we get to them. I won't hit them all, uh, but I just want to let you know it, it's not perfect. Um, it is a 2003, so yeah. Uh, everything I tend to touch on this car does seem to work barring one thing and I'll show you that when we get inside. Uh, it does have keyless entry uh, that does work. Uh, all the power windows work. Uh, it's got the leather seats which I believe is part of that LX package. Uh, and the seat back here really looks in good shape. So you can see where a couple spots where the, the paint just kind of flaked off. Yeah, your Crown Victoria LX badging neck here. It is a locking um, trunk, and we got keyless entry to release that. It also has panic on the keyless entry. Nice deep trunk here. Got the spare tire back there. I do want to mention that I know a lot of people really enjoy driving these cars and I've never particularly been too fond of how they look, just their exterior appearance, but I can see why people really enjoy driving them. It's a nice heavy car. It's got a nice stout but soft suspension. I went over the railroad grade and super smooth over that railroad grade. Uh, really impressed. I'm like, boy, I could, I could see why people like these cars. Fuel fill here, a couple more spots where the paint's just come off. All right, let's go on inside, fire it up. It's got full power seats, got the power lumbar down here. Uh, so the driver and passenger seats are power. Let me go ahead and start it up and I'll start showing you guys some things. It does have that, I just reminded myself, it's got some aftermarket exhaust on it. It actually comes out on both sides of the vehicle right in front of the rear tire. So, all right, let's, let, let's take a look at the inside now. It reminded me when I started it up. Okay, it has 131,860 miles on it. Um, the one thing I am skeptical about this car, and it seems like it works and then it doesn't, like right now it feels like it's working, is the air conditioning system. I, I'm gonna say on this, it's a no-go. It's like right now it is cold, but yeah, I actually did another shot of this video and I was like, yeah, the air conditioner works. And then I drove down the road and it stopped working. So heads up on that, there is an issue with the air conditioner and also the, the, uh, the dampener fan that determines where the air goes. It sometimes goes out my feet, sometimes it comes up here. So heads up there, maybe it needs a charge. I don't know. No warning lights on on the dash. The little red light up there is my seat belt light. I just don't have it on. Uh, like I said, it has power seats on both sides that can be controlled right here. Uh, for the driver's side and then the passenger side has that as well. Uh, remote mirrors work, power windows all work, and locks seem to work as well. Um, radio really sounds good. When you're ready to be. 
Uh, I don't know if it's got some upgraded speakers in it, but it sounds like it. it has CD player, tape player, and that was a big deal in 2003, if you remember. Um, coming over here, there's your power seat for that side. I did pull up the history port as well. Never been in an accident and literally scores better than any others in its class. See, it scores a 41. It says other vehicles score as high as 31, so it scores 10 points better. And I, I would tend to agree with that. Uh, we post these on our website. There's eight pages of this one. So just click the first link below and click the auto check right there. Um, all around, if this is what you're looking for, I don't know if they come in better condition. Now, always on these older vehicles, I like to say, you know, kind of buyer beware. There's, there's no guarantee or anything on it. So we welcome you to come and inspect for yourself, take it to your own mechanic. Uh, based on my experience, this seems to be a really nice vehicle. I like this down here. You know, they put the aftermarket uh, um, steering wheel on here, but they got the button for the horn down here, so that's kind of cool. All right, I'm going to go cruise off, have some fun, and I hope you guys all do the same. If you think this Crown Vic's for you, uh, give us a call. Make sure it's still here. I imagine it'll sell quick. Thanks for watching, everyone.